Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be building a hydraulic press. This is going to be a 60 ton hydraulic press. It's going to look something just like this. We have square tubing legs and I-beams up top and bottom to hold everything with some supports in between. So here in the middle is going to be the finger brake. This finger brake I got off of Swag Off-Road. It's a 50 inch finger brake. We have it sitting right here. It comes with everything you need to build the brake part itself. Everything else you have to source yourself or have a press that you can buy. So with that being said, of course, I'm going to build my own uh, because I think it's going to be a good challenge and also good practice. So we have our 20 ton cylinders here. All three of those equal 60 tons. We have our hydraulic pr uh, pump back here with a foot feed so we can adjust the height using our feet while we sh uh, hold the metal inside the press. We have a few different kind of fittings in here. We have some springs to help pull up the brake. We have some hydraulic regulators, some tabs for the springs, and then we have our 1,100 pound casters. These are 1,100 pound a piece, so 4,400 pounds in total, which is gonna be plenty for what we are building. Those are also five inch casters, if anyone was wondering. So the first thing we're gonna do is assemble the swag off-road press break. With that being said, let's get right to work. We have the finger brake all welded together now. So I also, this is not part of the kit. I brought this in here. This is four inch by uh, eighth inch flat bar. I put this up here. It's not necessary, but I want it to be able to fit my cylinder all the way around uh, because I will be welding half pipes around that here in a second. But everything worked out really well with this. I have the cylinders up here on top, have them spaced out how I want them and we are making some brackets using this four inch, um, four inch OD? No, it's four and a half inch OD pipe. Brackets are over here. I just cut the pipe in half and then I bend these brackets just a little bit in the vise here just to make them snug around the bottom of the cylinder. So I have to make four of these because I'm gonna cut uh, one of these into, I have to make five of these actually. Yeah, I need to cut these into three pieces for the back side because the front side is going to be sitting like this right here, very nice and clean. And then the back side has your port for the hydraulics. So I'll drop a piece here and I'll drop a piece on this other side so nothing interferes with this port. So we got the pipes welded on there. We also have the pipes for the top of the presses. I'll sit it in here. As you can see, it fits really snug and then these fit really snug on top of the jacks. So with that being said, the next thing we need to do is clear off the table and grab the metal outside so we can start building the frame. Um, if you're interested in buying this press, you can buy it from Swag Off-Road. I'll leave a link in the description. And then also, if you're interested in building one of these presses for yourself, I'm going to be drawing up some blueprints. And uh, I am going to leave a link in the description on how you can get those. Um, I am going to also have a build sheet so you know what metal I used and uh, what size all the pipes and everything like that are so it can help you along the way. So if you're interested in that, I will have a link in the description and I might talk about that a little bit later in the video. So let's get this table cleaned off and get right back to work.
So we have the stand built now. We got everything welded up with 7018s, front, back, top, bottom, just to make sure that this is extremely strong. And then we have everything else is good. So all the rollers on, everything like that, we're set to go. The only thing I need to still do is weld the caps on up here, braces in the middle, and then braces here at the bottom, the triangular braces. So the next thing we're gonna do is grab the press brake, set it on here, uh, get it fit up, tack it on, and then make sure everything fits. Throw our smaller pipes up here under the I-beam to hold the top of the jacks. Once that's all done, then we will start doing the uh, bracing and the bracing on the bottom. So let's get right to work. We have the press all welded up back here. We also just added these triangle braces top and on the bottom down here to help support the I-beams. And we added in some spring tabs, uh, which will be done here in a second. I have to get the jack hydraulics uh, all tightened up right now because I have to put these jacks in and then weld the springs in with the jacks in because after that, nothing comes apart. Um, so with that being said, we're gonna take these jacks apart put all the hoses, run all the hoses up to the top up here, make a little plate for the um, four way to sit on. And then after that, we will uh, weld the jacks in. So let's get right to work. And that's gonna be wrapped to this video. Thank y'all for watching. So as you can see, we have all the hydraulics plumbed back here with our regulator switches and our four-way. Um, the pump down here uh, was the only tr trouble I had. Um, trying to get it primed was hard, but all you have to do is leave the cap off and cycle the pump, pump for about 20 seconds to get all the air out. And after that, everything works very well. But since this video is getting pretty long now, I am going to be making a separate video over this limiting switch. This helps me make repeatable bins. So, if you'd like to see that, please subscribe and stick around, and uh, hopefully this video will be out in the next couple weeks. And then the last thing is I am and have already made plans for this press. If you'd like to build it yourself, I'm going to be selling those on Etsy. So I'll leave a link in the description down below if you'd like to check those out. But other than that, God bless. Thank you all for watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.